this is a little longer chip shot here. All right. So you have to add the arm movement to the radio flexion here. All right, we got this for the chip. Yeah. And this. But just a little longer. Just that's a, a little longer. That's a double, just to double up the separation of the club head from the ball, you see? And then you add a little more speed and it goes farther, okay? Okay. But now, this is not very much, now. And weight balance on that left leg. Of course, you're not going a full, full two-eighth stroke. This is in between, okay? Okay. We, if we're going to go into the, the two-eighths, you should move back a little farther, okay? Now, you got to hit it short of that green surface. That'd a little hot. Yeah. Just look here instead of that, look here. Soft. Mm -hmm. That about it. A little bit more than that. Mm -hmm. He's going to get this one. You take this one. See, you probably need a pitching wedge for that. No, I, I want you to use this for chipping. Now, all you have to do is, is not ex not give the shaft that much impetus, understand? Mm -hmm. Do it this way instead of this way. You see, instead of a strong stimulus, <laughs> loosen up on, on the power you put into it, okay? Mm -hmm. Right there. You stick it in there? Yeah. That's right. See, now let's go back a little farther. Okay. Now, see, we're going to use the fairway as a, as a stopping element here. Now you can use the, the full, see, stroke. All right, now, now, do I need a sandwich for this? No, I want you to use the, the hill there to stop the ball. Okay. So pitch it in the hill and let it roll yeah. up? Yeah. Now you're going to come, come back t so the hand moves back right in front of the kneecap and hit it. All right, so this shot's a little longer. Same grip. I'm just yeah. moving my left arm back a little bit. Yeah. Right? All right. Okay. Right. When you hit it short of the green, have to feel. That's a good shot. One eight. Now the club had just come just above that way. Two eights. This shaft is here, three-eighths of 30 degrees above. Okay. This is called a three-eighth shot, which means you're cocking your wrist, you're moving your arm, and the shoulder blade of the left arm area is moving. Mm -hmm. The club head will come about 30 degrees above your right knee. And where this, this is trying to and You're it, trying to roll get it short up. of the green and run up because the green will not hold. You got wind behind you. You got hard greens, and this is the only way you can stop it on that green. Did you hear the sound of the club head hitting that ball? Yeah, it, it sounded like a chip. It got its name that way. In Scotland, they made a solid ball out of the gum of a gutter punch a tree. And when it was chipped, or when it was struck with the hands in this manner, it gives a sound like chipping bark off of a tree. That's how it got its name, okay? Mm-hmm. Well, it's a solid feel. This shot is called the 3-8 shot. It gives you a little more arc because you're using the wrist, you're using the arm and then the left shoulder blade. The club head would be cocked about 30 degrees above the right knee. And you uh, judge the amount of impetus you're going to put in it to go the distance that you have to transverse. If you want to keep your score down, you must master this chip and run shot. It's a great shot saver. The more you practice, the easier it is to execute. You must have the proper address position with about 60% of your weight upon the left leg and the balance upon the right. Concentrating on the amount of impetus 
to put into the club to reach your target. You use this type of shot when the green is hard and the wind is falling you, so you play it using the fairway as a break of the ball coming into the green. It's called a knock down a pitch and run shot. This is a high pitching wedge because you've got to carry over that trap and then you have a downhill slant that'll put impetus on the ball. So you got to get it high and be able to stop it. So I take the now this time. Now you I use a regular grip. My just, thumb is on top of the yeah, club. Yeah, just like you grip the others, you know. And I come in it underneath like so. Yes, sir. You have to have your hand come in like the edgewise. Weight on the left or back? Well, it's slightly a little more on the left than the right. And when you hit this shot, your knee has got to flex. That's right. You held your chin steady. That was good. Okay. The heel detaches. The knee flexes so the hip can rotate around the left. Excellent. That's going to be in a hole. It's going to be in a hole. Huh? We got it over the bunker. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. That's super. See, you're not moving your chin. Mm. Huh? Right? Yeah, that's still, it's an easy shot. You just got to swing a little bit fuller at it because it's going so high, right? Yeah, you're buying altitude and you have to have, yes, sir. So, oh, one huh? more shot. No, I don't want you doing this, Michael. Ew. I don't want you doing this, look here. I don't want you doing this. I want this on gun still, and this comes on the... Come on there, okay. Okay? You're not trying to pull it there. The ball went in the hole. Okay. Keep it... Aye, that's right at it. Okay? You have precision this way. If you move that chin, you don't have it. This is a 200-yard... Full. Right. It's going to necessitate you taking the boat a six iron. I don't think you have to hit it full out. No, that's a, that's a pretty pretty normal shot. These are yeah. long irons, these Callaway irons. Huh? Right at it. Right on the target there, buddy. Is that a little oh. long? It's a little long. Yeah. About 15 feet, but we'll keep it. Okay. Try another one. All right. This is a 200-yard hole. Necessitates about a six line. Well, that's good. That's good body action, good hand action, good control of the shaft plane and the blade of that club. It's squaring right up perfectly at impact. Got about 200 yard shot to a little par three here. Trap right, trap left, pin in the middle right. Hitting the six iron. This shot is called a parachute shot. I, I have a slight dorsal flexion in my hand and I keep that dorsal flexion there so when you come through, not the sole is on the ground, but almost the back of the club. Right here. Yes, right and the blade there. is slightly open. And it gets it up quick. It, it drops down very soft, like a butterfly with blistered feet. Where do you, uh, where's your weight? Well, yeah, I'm standing regular there with a little more off of the left heel this time. Got to pick up that heel and flex that knee. Yeah. That hmm. looks good. But I, I, I don't want to, hmm? I don't want to take a dip at his, his time. I'm coming in here like a sand trip shot, and I have my hand this way, and it goes up high up. Mm -hmm. Look, look, you break your hand down like you're pushing down with your palm. Instead do I of grip it? 
that way or yeah, you grip, grip it, it regular? You, no, you grip it with a Honda grip. Okay. Like that. And now that lays the blade open. It's laid open with like more, so. more break in your wrist. And you're coming through there like the hand is fanning ground this way and trying to... Instead it's of like hitting a door it, knob, it, Yeah. It? You're trying to hit it with the edge of the hand instead of the back of the hand. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right? Play like, it up front a little bit? Yes. No? I want the hand down. I want it down like that. It's got to look like old fuzzy Zala. Okay. All right? See how high it went? Well, that shot straight up. It comes up in down there. just like a parachute. 